My friends, it's Krabs here, and we're playing some War Thunder Jets! <laughs> we're doing some realistic battles in the Meteor F4. You guys have been dying to see some footage of this. Too much arcade, Krebs. Well, I like both modes. How about that? I guess the one thing you can say about Jets and realistic battles, or realistic battles in general, is that realistic battles puts you up against an additional enemy. And that enemy isn't your opponent that you're taking on, per se. That enemy is actually your plane and your flight characteristics. Alright, you gotta think about, is my plane going to survive while I am going to be pushing it through? Uh, will I be able to survive this high speed? Will I be able to survive not necessarily this high speed, but this turn at this speed? Will my wings rip off? That's the sort of thing that you gotta think about when you're flying out with the Meteor F4 or any plane in Realistic Battle. And I guess for that reason, that's sort of why I like playing arcade battles, because I can sort of neglect that whole aspect of what's going on with my plane, and I can just think about killing stuff, which is always fun, because I like killing stuff. <laughs> so anyway, we're uh, on Hokkaido Military Exercise, something like that, which pits up Brits versus Americans in a military exercise. In fact, it's the most realistic military exercise because you're not using dummy rounds or anything. You're using full live ammunition. You're killing each other. <laughs> man, realistic battles much? <laughs> uh, I, I guess last man standing gets a medal, right? So, I like to start off, off with this map. And that's one kill right there. I like to start off with this map by... If I'm, say, in the top plane on this match, like the Meteor F4, which I am in this match, then I'll just head straight on, a little bit low altitude, so like 2,500 meters, and I'll follow my AI, as you guys have seen just at the beginning, where I hopefully will meet some enemy AI and be able to quickly snipe them before I take on some real targets. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't happen this time because my AI got there faster than I did, so if anything, I should probably have gone in a straighter line at a lower altitude. And there we go. So, kill number two, another bear cat. It doesn't really seem that impressive right now, does it? You know, Krabs, you're just killing prop planes. What's so great about this game? Hold on, hold on, we're not done yet. If that doesn't, if killing prop planes doesn't uh, make you, make you hate Krebs or hate this re <laughs> video so far, how about I top it off, top it off with uh, an AI kill! A B-25! <laughs> okay, here we go. Right, Luke. You're on up. Time to meet your father. Here we go, our approach run. I extended my air brake just because I wanted to slow down a bit more before I came up uh, behind him. Just to give me a bit more space, a bit more time to shoot at him. Because those B-25s... You know, they take a bit more damage to actually take down. Alright, Max, you're next. Oh, oh! Oh! Okay, we got Luke. We got Luke. I was worried we wouldn't get Luke. But uh, that that was Luke that we killed, not Max. So somebody else got Max. And now, there's only one enemy left. And this is actually where it's going to turn out to be why I posted up this video. The last enemy to take down who turns out to be a saber. All right. If we were basing this replay off of just everything else prior to this, I wouldn't have uploaded this. But it was what's gonna happen next, in the next 10 or so minutes of video time, which turned out to be 20 or so minutes of the game, uh, you're gonna see what's ha gonna happen. So, first thing first, keep in mind of how much fuel I have in the top left corner. You're gonna see how long this chase is going to take. So I see this Saber, the last guy on their team, 
who's who's being really hard on me to kill. Not necessarily right now, because I'm catching up to him, which is surprising. A meteor catching up to uh, Saber. Well, all right. I guess I came out of a dive there, and I was going to max speed. You can see my speed was at uh, red. The text was red, indicating that I was reaching my maximum velocity before my plane would just essentially rip into pieces. So I caught up to the F-86. I didn't want to turn with him. Because going at such a high speed and turning with that saber is just a death wish. The thing about the long wing, and the thing about having long wings, is you can't take G-forces at all. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I have gone at 700 kilometers an hour. And depending on what I do, my wings will rip off. Say if I try to attempt a barrel roll at 740 kilometers an hour around there, and this is actually what happened to me in another game. I was at 740 kilometers an hour. I decided that I would do a barrel roll because there was a saber catching up to me. I kicked back on the throttle, or brought it right on down to zero, extended the air brakes, extended my landing flaps, and initiated a battle roll and unfortunately it didn't really turn out into much of a battle roll I ended up breaking up my <laughs> wings and that was it. It, it the long wing can be quite treacher treacherous to g-forces and I've heard that the short wing or the small wing sorry is a lot better with high G maneuvers so I'm looking forward to that my that next plane can't wait and so that's why in that turn that I did when I was chasing down this F-86 I, I, just, I couldn't go with it I had to do a pass and then a loop alright, an Immelman, Immelman turn and so I chased him over to the other side of the map far far out into the ocean over the waters and he decides he's gonna lose me in the clouds not a bad idea at all this guy is smart we're gonna try a bit of a head-on. Ah, I'm a bit off. What's really difficult to do in realistic battles, I feel, is to stabilize your plane out for the shots you need. Now, I'm not gonna follow this guy in a turn. The thing is with the sabers, is that they can outspeed me, they can outturn me, and what do I have over them? I don't really know. Well, uh, Actually, there is one thing I have over them. That's the firepower, that's for sure. 50 cals versus 20 millimeter cannons. I think I know which choice I want. Well, I'm sort of forced to have it with this long wing. But if anything, if I'm going to survive against this saber that can outspeed me, that can out everything me apart, apart from firepower, I'm going to need teammates. That's the only thing that's going to keep me alive right now. Fortunately, that meteor, F3. And everyone else on my team is F3s, if they're meteors. I, I'm, I, unfortunately, they can't catch up to the Saber. It's the only people who are going to be having a game, essentially, at this point. It's just me and the Saber. <laughs> We're the only ones that are competitive against each other right now. And I'm being hightailed by him. All right, he's got, he's got the speed on me. I'm going at as fast as I possibly can. I needed to make it to Hamster over there in this Meteor F3. I need another teammate who can help me out. The other Meteor F3 is going back to base. He's run out of ammo. I'm failing on trying to communicate to my team members to come and support me. But, oh, wow. Look how fast these distances are closing. He's closing it fast. That Saber. Uh, he's crawling up on me. Look at that. Every time I look back, he's a few hundred meters closer to me. Oh man. Oh whoa. You can hear those 50 cows riddling through the air. Try and chase me as hard as you can, and I'm just doing some high G turns. About 10, 10 G's maximum there, or maybe even 12 G's we were seeing. But I guess the beauty about what was going on there is if he was trying to follow my, my turns, he would be getting those high G's as well, and he wouldn't be able to see me so clearly. Whereas my Meteor F3 buddy might have had a good opportunity to shoot him down. Because we were turning there. But Smart Saber, he decides to actually break out of it. 
Go speeding on in a straight line. And again, we're flying across the map. I've overtaken my F3 partner. And we're lost in the clouds. I, I gotta take a look at this guy's stats. He's he's a good player. Although his stats don't show much about him being a good player. I mean, they're pretty bad, to be honest. But he is playing like this is the game of his life. He is just doing so good. Playing it smart. Playing it cautious. But knowing what he's doing. He's using the clouds for his cover. He's not engaging in prolonged turn fights. I think he knows what he's doing. So he's in a dive. I'm in a dive as well. I'm, a I'm, I'm trying to follow him as best as I can. And this is where it becomes hard to stabilize your plane. Switching between those high G's and those low negative G's. Where the hell did he go? I, I read it out so hard. I don't even know where he went. Look at that. Look at that. He's all the way over there. Okay, I've got to turn. And start pursuing him again. That's the thing about realistic battles. You get high G's, negative G's, you can lose the sight of your opponent easily, as as just happened there. And now I just don't, ha I can't get the ground on the saber. And again, what happens is I end up chasing him across the map. He didn't have a good run just there, as when he lost me in the clouds. I think what he's trying to do is get into the clouds, lose me. And either try to get into a position where he can head me on, or get behind me. Which would be really ideal for him. But so he's on the other side of the map now, and his speed is slowing down. Which is something peculiar. When you see that he's slowing down, you know something's about to happen. And so he's just making a turn. He was about 5 kilometers out. Here he comes. We're, we're gonna do our first head on here. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Whew. It just looks like some sort of the bullets must have just ricocheted off the uh, outside of my plane. A few indicators here and there, no critical damage, not even any model for my plane. The damage model showing up on the left just looks like a little bit of scatter here and there. Didn't hit him though. And now we've flown across the map again. And mind you, we're at, I'm at 6 minutes fuel now, so this has been... A chase that has already taken about 9 minutes of my fuel. It doesn't mean it's actually been 9 minutes time. It was actually way longer than that. Because I'm not using my fuel all the time. Sometimes I might lower down my throttle and whatnot. But I think the overall recording that I made for this video was about 27 minutes long. It was ages. And so we've flown across the map again. And now he's coming in for another head-on. Oh! We couldn't stabilize our planes out. Couldn't get our crossers on each other. It's just so tense every time. Because every time I have this opportunity where we have a head-on, that's when I know it's equal grounds. But it really is a dice roll. I could do a critical to him, he could do a critical to me, and that's it. I've got my meteor of threes around me, but they're just not fast enough. So I decided, you know what, screw it. He can go in a straight line again. I'm down to about 4 minutes of fuel, 69 rounds of cannon ammo, it's not a lot, I'm, I'm just going to go back to base, I'm going to get refueled, rearmed, and it actually turned out to be a lot harder than I anticipated to land with a jet, using your air brake and whatnot, you still manage to <laughs> have a lot of uh, speed, so I made a, quite a number of failed passes on this airfield. But always keep in mind of that meteor. He was gone for a second, but now he's there. 25 kilometers. Let's keep in mind of what he's doing. Alright, 23 kilometers. 2 kilometers closer. What? what? 22! Alright, I'm starting to think that there's something fishy going on. As in, he's not still running. 20 kilometers. Okay, that that is, that is it. He is definitely coming my way. He must have realized, hey, where's that F4? Where is my competition? Where'd he go? And then he realized, oh wait, maybe he went all the way back to base. Yeah, he's right. So, it's time for me to kick back on the throttle. I'm going to start expending fuel again. But I'm going to try to duke him out a little bit. I'm going to drop my altitude 
pretend as if I am going to be landing, at least from his perspective, his distance, so that he keeps on trying to come at me rather than break off. Here we go. It's going to be a head-on pass with the saber. Come on, this is this is my only chance. This is it. I've got to do it now. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, he lost tail control. That is so amazing. <laughs> oh, and it took piss all damage. Uh, th that was just awesome. These are the results. I Just reliving that moment again was just so awesome. You guys, if I could have shown you what I was like when that happened, I, I just like, I, I just exclaimed with joy. <laughs> it was so awesome. So anyway, guys, first video of RB and uh, Jets. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later.